Welcome to another episode of uh, Ronda Code Studio. Today we're going to be installing uh, Go programming language on a Mac OS Mojave uh, using the VS Code Editor. And uh, we're going to talk about why, the pros and the cons of the language. Why should you learn Google language? Well, the Golang is an open source language created by Google to make it easier to build simple, reliable, and efficient systems. Some of the pros are you can build with concurrency in mind. Go routines and channels are primitives built around concurrent programming. Primitives are like strings, ints in most languages such as Python and Swift. Uh, concurrency allows you to run multiple processes at the same time and on the same core. Uh, you can go to this and switch back to this, do that, all at the same time. So uh, it's cross-platform, runs on Linux and Mac and Windows. It avoids a lot of the cruft that traditional object-oriented languages uh, such as like uh, no classes or, or type inheritance in Golang. Uh, functions are also first class citizens. There's generally one simple way to do just about everything, which makes it kind of verbose because it's, it's a routine. Everything is the same way. Uh, this is made to make things as simple as possible. Uh, another pro is that is backed by Google. It has a garbage collection. Uh, a major to deal with with any language that doesn't support garbage collection. Uh, this can be thought of as a con. It has no control over memory management. Uh, and let's get down to the cons. It lacks any, it lacks uh, third-party modules, which is a pain in the butt. Uh, it deviates from traditional C-based languages, so it's probably not something you would use at work. Personally, it doesn't click as well as Python or Swift languages. Um, error handling, uh, it's kind of like help yourself. Uh, Gold doesn't support generics, doesn't allow you to be uh, to build flexible code so that you can reuse a function or method. So um, uh, Golang has not taken off so well also. Uh, the adoption rates are very low. Uh, with work, it's, it's, so far it's uh, good luck. Uh, it's not a lot of community support. So it hasn't taken off as uh, I, I think as as much as they would have liked to. Hello everyone, let's continue our tutorial installing GoLang on VS Code. So first we're going to get our VS Code editor, and I've already downloaded this, but I'm just going to show you how to uh, download it. Uh, Code.visualstudio.com. We got a download for Mac. And uh, as you will see right now, I've already downloaded it. So I'm going to cancel this. This would be the end file. I kind of did this for speed. So we would open up this file. I'm just going to delete this and show you. I'm going to open this file and it should bring us our Visual Studio code right outside. What we're going to do, we're going to drag this to the applications right here and just kind of drop it in. I'm not going to drop it in because I've already installed. Uh, as, I, as you can see here, I'm going to open this up and as you can see uh, it's uh, it opens up just like this so it's working right away and we're going to go back we're going to install Golang so we go to golang.org and here we can just kind of run this file here we can see so it's uh, our, our uh, starter file and this is kind of like how when we start, we can test out if our we installed Go correctly. So we're going to copy this. Then we download Go. Uh, I'm running Mac OS Mojave, so uh, we're going to download for Mac OS. And here we can download for Windows, Linux, and we can install from the source also. Um, so we're going to go here to download this Darwin package. So I go to Finder. I'm going to delete this since uh, I've already got it. Um, you can delete the zip file once you've uh, completely done everything. So, And here we have uh, some instructions. So if you're upgrading from an older version, you must first remove the existing version so it doesn't cause any conflicts. Um, to uh, install on Mac OS, we download uh, the package file, which we've done right here. It's still downloading. We open it and follow the prompts to install the Go tools. The package installs the Go distribution at the USR local Go folder. 
and uh, a user logo go folder and the package should uh, be put in uh, should put the user local go bin directory in your path environment variable so that it's already done for this we don't need to go into our bash profile or anything like that and the only thing we may need to do is we may need to restart any open terminal sessions so that the changes can take effect and uh, if you go further we could test our installation so we've already copied this this portion and when I double clicked here this is what we get uh, hit continue install for all users on this Mac um, I want to leave everything as is and it's writing files so um, so here we go uh, you build it with the go tool so we're going to follow these instructions just to kind of go by. If we go for uh, a little bit low, we can uninstall and we can get some help. Um, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but if we go to the Golang, um, Golang site, we can actually get to the documentation, which uh, documentation here. And we're going to get back to this. Finish that. And we're going to move to the trash because we no longer need that. And we're going to get back to our VS Code. And we're going to need an extension in order to use Go Language on our VS Code editor. And when you open the VS Code, uh, Visual Studio Code, you're going to uh, come up with these uh, welcome screen. Uh, this is our Explorer, our Search our source control, debugger, and extensions. So if you go to extensions, we can just type here on a search extension marketplace. Uh, think of this as a Apple Store, Google Play for uh, VS Code. And here we could download a bunch of uh, apps that help us or extensions that help us to debug, lint, um, sometimes shortcuts or themes for our VS Code editor and we're just going to type go and we're going to go ahead with this first one uh, you can see how many uh, users have downloaded uh, uh, so we're going to click install and we're going to reload we're going to have to reload in order to have uh, full support so we're going to open a folder and I had created a folder earlier uh, called Golang but if uh, let's just do it again because I like to Make sure that we are working with something new. We're going to open this folder and we're going to create a new file. Let's call it main.go, which is okay. So the go outline command is not available. Use go get y. So we go to the terminal or we can just click install. Some go analysis tool are missing, so we're going to install that and our debugger expected package. And we're going to follow the instructions here. So we're going to go to package main. And I'm going to just squeeze this in a bit so we get a full screen of both. Yeah, we're going to take this off here. Go to the debugger, make it a bit smaller, we don't need all that. And so the command above will build an executable named hello in the directory alongside your source code. So to execute it to see a greeting, hello. Um, you can try to execute, and we're going to see if we get anything. So we're going to copy this. We're going to get this here. Yeah, so we don't have a go returns command. Oh, so it's installed it. So we should be good to go. We have uh, go dev. It's not installed. So you see VS Code kind of lets you know Mm 
And so we build a go. So we have to write go build. Go to debugger. And I'm just going to. Yeah, there we go. API server listening at 127.0.0.1. Hello world. If I want to change this, say. We're going to hit F5. Should run your code. And now we have some issues there. We have Mono Code Studio running perfectly fine. And that's how you install Go language on VS Code using a Mac OS. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe and follow us for more tutorials.